what is or what are some of your tips or one major tip to making marketing make sense for your beat store? Um, retargeting 100% is so uh, most people that visit your site and you're going to you're probably going to get like maybe 3% one to 3% of people are actually going to buy right when they hit your beat site. That's just how that's just how the world is. But retargeting is basically, you know, setting up something where you, you, you can either run an ad or whatever, or even an email to say, you know, hey, I know you're in my website. Here's, you know, even give them a discount or just introduce yourself and start a, you know, start a conversation. And then, you know, most of the time they're like, oh, yeah, I was at your site. I really love those beats. And I'm like, yeah, let me go back and grab those beats I was looking at. Um, and, 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 I, and you don't have to do paid advertisement through retargeting. That could be like your email. Like, I think the number one um, way that I like to do retargeting is by giving away free beats on BeatStars because you can integrate it with your email. And then by that, you can start a whole conversation with somebody just by doing that. So I think that's the number one way is retargeting. Like Wishmaster said, retargeting through emails is a great way to bring in more business and get some of those visitors who haven't made a purchase to come back. But how do you actually go about putting some systems in place to retarget to your customers? Well, let me show you how to set that up right now. We're going to start from the BeatStars dashboard. Then we're going to go to our tracks and then bulk edit our tracks by pressing this checkbox here. We're going to select free sample download and then we're going to allow free downloads and select capture email address. Now that this is enabled, we have contact info for our customers that we can immediately use to open a line of dialogue to them. There are different ways to remarket, including running ads. But like Wishmaster said, you don't need to run ads to remarket. You can do this totally for free on the BeatStars platform. Now that we have free downloads enabled and we're getting people on our mailing list, let's talk about what we need to do to remarket. We're going to build out an email that's going to automatically send out to people who downloaded our beats for free. To do this, we need MailChimp. Log into MailChimp from the marketing integration section of your account and select your list. Now all of your emails will go right into your MailChimp account and come tagged as free download. Now let's build an automated email that will go out to everyone who was added to this tag. What I want to do is create a customer journey. So let's click on that and we'll create a new journey. We'll choose to start when added to a tag and select free download. A customer journey is a roadmap of communication to your audience. You can build out what emails your audience will receive set requirements for receiving emails, and build out different responses depending on which actions your audience takes. This tool is meant to automate communication while still keeping segmenting at the forefront of your priorities. Building out a single email that goes out to everyone, regardless of their unique experiences with your store, can hurt your overall ability to make sales. Building out a customer journey will enable you to set up multiple emails that go out over a period of time, and allow you to use that earlier knowledge you obtain to help you market better later. The first thing I'm going to do is add a one hour delay after they get a free download. Keep in mind that when people download your beats, that'll come in one email, then this will be a separate email. So this is where you decide if you want to have a gap there. I want to let them download the beat first, and then we'll continue our conversation with them after. Now we'll add the first email to the journey. Let's change the subject line. Mine is going to say, thanks for joining BeatsByStellar.com. My preview text is going to say, here's a special coupon code just for you. Now we're going to design the email. I want to keep this email pretty simple because we're really just using it to give out a coupon code and then introduce ourselves and start a line of dialogue with our new members. We'll add a logo up top over here. Then we'll fill it in with some basic facts about ourselves. A little something about my experience with music. Tell them what my mission is and why I do what I do. Let them know I'm here to help them and that I want to be a resource for them in their journey. Then we'll ask the artist to introduce themselves. Ask them to send over all their links. Check out their social media pages, their music, and anything else to get to know them better. Learning your audience's stories will better allow you to work with them on a personal level and help them better. Then I want to make sure I add the coupon code and upload a photo of myself to add a personal touch.
Now that we've introduced ourselves, our next email is going to be centered around offering additional free downloads and giving them a call to action to make sure we're getting a response. I'm going to set a one day delay for this next email. We don't want to spam our customers with too many emails all at once, but we want to make sure that we're sending these emails while the message is still fresh in their minds. The subject line will be, here's five more free beats just for you. With the preview text being, let us know which is your favorite for a special surprise. Now let's start designing it. We want to include a pack of free beats and ask them to let us know which is their favorite to receive a special curated playlist just for them. The ultimate goal here is to continue to learn more and more about your audience's interests to better provide services to them. Every time you engage with your audience, you're building trust and loyalty to your brand. You're also nurturing professional relationships and making money at the same time by knowing what your audience is more likely to buy. These playlists will also be super easy to set up within your BeatStars account, even if you offer a ton of different types of beats. Just group all your beats together to give your fans an easy way to listen to the specific genre they're interested in. These customer journeys can be created and woven in so many directions. I want to also point out that besides just delays, you can also add triggers that must be met before a customer continues in their journey. You can set requirements like opening an email or hitting a link within an email to trigger the next step. This will help segment your audience further. If you're worried about sending an audience too many emails if they haven't opened a previous one, you can pause the following email until you know for sure that the last one was received and read. Another key step I want to mention in retargeting is getting those finished songs back from your customers. I'm going to create another email to ask our free downloaders and our buyers to send us the finished songs they created with our beats. We want to hear these songs for multiple reasons. Number one, we want to be able to keep track of all the songs that are created with our beats in case they blow up. It's better to know about these songs early in case we want to do any marketing or promotion for them. Number two, if this track was created with a free download, we want to hype them up and encourage them to purchase a license. Number three, if the mixing could use some work, we want to be able to offer that as a service to them if we have experience with post-production. Number four, showing interest in offering advice or opinions will demonstrate how passionate you are about your music and encourage these artists to work with you again in the future. Number five, it's awesome hearing songs made with your beats. When we receive these songs, we want to make sure we're taking our time to listen to them ask questions to the artist, make sure we're offering advice and help in any way we can. This will go a long way in creating lifelong brand loyalty. Experiment with retargeting and building relationships with your customer. Try building a customer journey and let us know what works and what doesn't. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos like this, visit beatstars.world/liveplus.